dead. So yeah, you're gonna get entangled. We're gonna get glimpsed back. Even when Rage is down, things like Brewmaster are, it's, it can be really annoying for Life Stealer. Yeah, Storm is gonna be the ban here for OG. I think one thing that Navi is trying to do is get the Life Stealer lane matchup versus Long Druid. Used to be considered a very heavy counter because in the lane you could just feast off of the bear because the bear has so much HP to begin Ten with. You, you essentially, life steal like 100% per seconds hit. Remaining. So it's pretty nice on that on that regard. Mm -hmm. So the Denny hero that will come out for the last pick for uh, Navi. Because life steal alone is not enough damage, right? So they need a kind of a, a semi core as well for the last pick. They they're also lacking like a vessel for the life stealer. Yeah. That's why we see the That's storm. That's why the bat or the yeah. storm was banned, yeah. <clears throat> that so, still in, in, term, in terms of Dendi hero that could jump in. I was the, I was actually thinking Queen of Pain for themselves, but they banned it out. See the Queen doesn't do enough damage, oh, so you need a okay. really high damage healing. I, I'm thinking of Ember. So they thought of Death Prophet instead. So then now you have the problem of how does the life stealer get in? I guess Doom has to get a blink dagger now. Night Stalker's just gonna run in Lion. really fast. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. I guess. All right, let's see what OG has for us last. They are remaining. very flexible in their picks we are, and they're, they're where their heroes are going. Five We've already decided that. Remaining. Most likely it will be Brewmaster for S4 and Lone Druid for uh, No Till, and then we got Phantom Mask for Resolution. All right. A fairly greedy lineup for OG, but the Disruptor and the Earth Spirit, I think they are good enough supports to, to warrant that. Yeah, they also really outscale Navi. Yeah. Similar to game one. Once you get into a certain point in this game. All right, whatever. I can't find this. Nope. Yeah. What? Once you get to a certain point in this game, the game is over just from the mm -hmm. scaling of OG. I think. Yeah. I I would agree. What do you think? Uh, I definitely like OG's draft a lot better here. I don't think Life Stealer really has a game. Um, in the past sort of it's done well against lone druid but the the matchup works the other way as well if lone yeah. druid goes range form and then uh you, you can still get entangled through rage sure uh Five this and remaining. i feel like wyvern doesn't have a great game here there are lots of silences so og og as well og for me as well i think uh this is the the weakest draft from navi in the, in the series so far obviously there's only two games but uh let's find out if og is indeed able to secure their place at the major with od pixel and fog thank you very much steve yes the last game of the day og Ooh. versus navi and og one win away from securing that spot at the major can they do it, Fog? We've seen the drafts, we've seen the lineups, as uh, the Japan was sort of saying, you know, with this PL, if it goes on, if OG can keep the game going, as the potential to sort of go the same way that we saw, you know, the games with sort of the, 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 these huge late game carries like the. Last month, but they've won both of the games. However, I do like what the panel was mentioning is OG's lineup. Yep. If the game gets to a certain point, they go. they're in a great spot. However, I think Navi can snowball with the Death Prophet if they can protect him and make all that happen, but they don't have great ways of starting the fight, like they mentioned as well. But Night Stalker and Doom just have to kind of run in for the Death Prophet. They have to be these tanky cores and frontliners for her with the, with the Life Stealer. I think that OG, though, they have that plan to take the game to the late game. And I like how they built these two, their two cores. It's really hard to get Dooms off on Phantom Lancer. and Lundra. Well, Lundra, you don't really want a Doom, but Phantom Lancer, very elusive. But Brewmaster is going to be the big target for that Doom. So Navi, they do have potential to get those kind of like big team fights. They have a lot of different silences. They can do like Winter's Curse. They can do Death Prophet silence, Night Stalker silences. A lot of ways to prevent the Brewmaster from getting ulti. So we're going to have to see how OG takes this one. They have to be able to come out into the later stages of the game. Because early game, they are a bit suffering versus Navi. And we'll see uh, the lane matchups as well. I mean, at the moment, Notel is, is on his own up top, bottom. S4 has got his eyes on to crystallize. Jet to skill. Oh, Just trying he's to force the to skill the rage, and yeah, he has put put the point into it. Yeah. Doesn't have to use it, and doesn't have to reveal the fact that he does so. But uh, he is out of there. Up top's an acre, and you're not putting a bit of harassment onto Notel's bear. A lot of percent damage coming out between that Wyvern and Doom in the later stages, the Infernal Blade and the Arctic Burn. 
But yeah, I do like what OG's got going for them here. As long as they can not, not get punished too hard by this Night Stalker in the early night times. Looking good here. We'll probably be seeing like this uh this new build that I was that S4 has kind of been talking to me about after his blink dagger going for the Aeon disc this game to deal with those silences. Roger. And Jerex. It's gonna be a 2v2 in the mid lane, 2v2 in each other's safe lanes. Down bottom. Tor. Gonna be on his own for the moment. Taking quite the harassment from Seneca. Up top, flight. Doing his best to try and zone back general, get the space for no tell. Get the easy ZS. We don't have much kill lanes coming out here from either side. It's pretty much just if a rotation comes out and catches someone off guard, then they, they can go for the kills. But as the lanes stand right now, nobody on either team should really die. Jarex, I like what he did here. Blocked the medium camp, warded the hard camp. General has nothing to eat. Jarex. Fly. Again, as you say, damage being done, but likely to test to find the kills unless someone massively oversteps in these lanes. And so there's overall a lack of sort of hard lockdown between the two lineups. Right here. The results come out. Getting chased out here. And the roll forward and the slow for Jarex. The roll They connects. should get this. Rolls off the mark though. Oh no. Now Jarex. Oh no, Jarex. Oh, oh he done fluffed First up. Blood. First beast. Oh. Painful, nice, nice painful step. misplay, and yeah, indeed, just Roger making it as hard as he can for Jarex to connect that. General had to literally just eat a regular creep in the lane since they blocked, they body blocked one hard camp, they warded the other one and blocked the other one as well. That was very good preparation coming up from OG. Denied. And S4 is doing great in this off lane. Six and one, at level three already when he's playing versus a dual lane, and he's messing, messing with Crystallize a bit. Rezo mid, then he has a DD rune. We'll take massive advantage of this laning phase because of that. Now, Rezo still farming all right up against this DP for the most part, though. So there's not really too much of a difference between the two. Roger does get the D ward that uh, Jarex had placed earlier, so there is going to be that hard camp available for a general now. The biggest sort of. Uh... A win in, in terms of lanes so far in this early stage definitely seems to be the, the top lane for OG. You, you look yeah. at the CS there, 14 for 13 against the 1 for 1. They're doing a great job of securing Notel farm and making sure the general can't get a look in at all on the Doom. This is, in my opinion, one of Notel's best heroes. Yeah. Whenever he's playing these micro heroes, he always seems to stand out. So this mid. Don't fly. Renzo, trying to get in. Does he gets oh run. no! Oh no, he's Rezo! Dead. The RNG has played him and it will cost him his life. I think, well, out of all the illusions, was that he the only one to go on the low ground? He was the only one to get dropped on. Oh, and Dent, he gets an easy kill because of that. That is very costly. Now, oh, Roger. In the mid lane. Dendi's Death Prophet has been, like I said, he has 100% win rate in the two games, and they tend to really make the game all about Dendi's Death Prophet when he plays it. They stack up a lot of jungle camps for him just enable him to have an excellent game. And with the save, like Suneko, it can be pretty nice. The Winter Wyvern always likes seeing Death Prophet having at least one saving hero for himself. No tail. Going for the Bounty Rune versus General. He's got Savage Roar. He's going to fear him away. Take the Bounty. OG will claim two. There are three of those Bounty Runes. Regen Rune top for Dendi. Dream. With that double, uh, double null. The CSing in the mid lane will be even easier. Uh, and yep. More of a chance of getting those denies. General top, it's level five bear now. He has to start being very careful. He does. Pops Going the... to this lane. Uh, this lane is actually an absolute disaster here it's, for Navi. It's, yeah, I don't know how you can do it as a as a one man do. It's so hard. Mid lane, Dendi moving in. Rezo and Fly getting very very low. Roger coming in with a sweep round, but Jarex is there. Should be enough to hold the two back. Roger does get the void under Fly. Fat flies forward and takes down Fly. Fly will be the kill. Roger goes for the quick TP out. Is that man going to make it? No, he's not. Damage is there from OG. Rezo will be able to get the return fire kill. Top lane, though, look at it. As we're saying, generally, he's just been zoned all the way back he out of the lane. He can't. Yeah. He can't yeah, go to sure. this lane on his own. He's going to have an incredibly early Midas timing for no-tail. Yep. And, I mean, S4, almost level 6 already on the Brewmaster versus the Lifestealer. His last hits are really solid, too. 17 and 3. Bottle now picked up. 
He's able to sustain in this lane quite nicely until Night Stalker makes a rotation down. So a lot of the pressure is on Roger for this lane phase. Although Navi is still about 1k gold advantage because of how well uh, Dendi is doing in mid lane. Let's see what General can do in terms of trying to catch him. The general down, oh, well, down towards the bottom of the middle. And Seneco is a trying with the chase down. Seneco will be able to flap his way back to safety with the Arctic burn over the cliffs. Sport level 6. Yeah. He's actually starting to bully Crystal as a bit. He's having a really nice time down bottom. 26 last hits to the 35 of the Lone Druid. Yeah. So you can see that the, the impact that S4 is already having. Fly, looking for get a glimpse here on Seneco. Seneco gets onto the high ground though. And yeah, we see Roger is really trying to get this courier snipe. Some top class micro from OG. We'll keep it alive though. The ward down, he's still hunting for it. There's no way to get it now. Could try and get it for this little guy. What's that? Oh, he does! He gets it! He gets it! Through that little pathing there on the side. Oh, that looked like what? he shouldn't get away with that at all. And I think OG, they, ex they did not expect that. They just sent it straight down the top. They didn't think he'd come a hunting with that ward down. And wow, Roger, what a courier snipe. In a situation that looks to be impossible mid lane. Dandy gets Glimps back. This is going to be the primal split from S4. They look to control and cold embrace. Keeping Dendi alive for now, but it's also brought time for Resolution to close the gap. They surrounded Dendi, OG. They'll bring him down for sure. Siphon's not enough to keep that man alive and fly. Also surviving gets away. Great aggressive play with the first Panda split. They find a mid laner. Absolutely. All because of how well S4's lane has gone. But yeah, losing that courier, that means the Midas won't be delivered at such an early point for no tail Jarax now, being chased by Roger. Oh. Kicks him away, rolls out. Radiance middle tower is that under little too far. I mean, I say that he can't. I said he couldn't do something before, and he's, he's proving me wrong. Roger's been very persistent with his plays, oh and you know God, what? He's, he's only going to go and do it. Roger, ladies and gentlemen. He's stepping it up. He really is. Mid lane, and now let's towards Rezo. He has the silence. They're closing the gap, and Roger, I tell you what, he's really doing it. He absolutely is. Double kill for Roger. Is and a gonna... massive kill as well. Surely he's not getting out. Now this is the end to Roger's glory. I... Can he escape? Will he deny himself? Oh, no way. Roger. Oh, oh he doesn't. Fly gets the kill. The dragon backswing. Too much. Yeah, Thunderstrike from Fly will seal the deal. But still, though, massive impact from Roger with those movements around mid and, and causing a bit of an issue for resolution. That's a solid first four minutes in yeah. the first night time for Roger. He should be very happy with himself. That I cannot believe he got that oh, courier site. That was the biggest one for me. Roger. Ah, what, a, what, a, what a man. What a series of events. And five to three. Navi getting the kills. Farm still looking good though for OG overall up top. Sneko trying to finish off the bear. They've got the Savage Roar to push General away, but it'll close back in with the net. Can they get that money? Doesn't look like they can. The bear's too speedy. The bear will be out there in fat mid lane. They've got the TP's in because OG got a bit aggressive. Roger's trying to chase down Jerax. They've got the siphon onto Rezo. Rezo falling very low. We'll be fine. He's able to break the distance. And Na'Vi really keeping a lot of focus on this, this mid lane, making sure that Dendi's safe and Dendi's able to... Have the potential to nearly turn around some of these engagements and Rezo Radiance falling very low each and every time. He has to be careful on this PA, PL and he's fallen behind a little bit now. Yeah. Sonoto did send the bear back to base to grab that Midas, so he does have it finished up at a very nice timing for that and he's going to continue to search for in that net worth. But no, uh, Dendi's still ahead of him. Is that kill that he get, did get early on. And now Dendi will start to do the jungle. As I was mentioning, you know, they, they really like prioritizing having Dendi go to the jungle around like level 7 on most of his heroes, and then giving the supports the lane so they can catch back up. And Roger needs levels. Although he's had such great rotations, he's still only level 4 at 9 minutes. How's Crystal Vice doing? On the way toward the arm, right? So he's, he's doing pretty nice. He doesn't have that natural delivery system that we usually do see for the Lifestealer picks. Big standout though is definitely No Tail and S4, how spectacular they've done in the, throughout the laning phase. Four. Level 8 on this brute. And very good farm as well. 10 minutes coming around. Some tomes being eaten up so people get their level 6s. Jarex is very low level 2 though, it's on the Earth Spirit. Only level 3. So supports. 
pretty low level this game, but on the other side, the cores are doing very nicely on both sides. So Nico and Dandy with this movement ready to do something about no tell. He's had such an easy lane up top, but this rotation could cause issues. The Dooms drop down. They're ready with the chase now. And Ghost out as well. No tell. No way he gets out of that one. Big rotation for Na'Vi. They take the kill. They'll look for an objective as well with those Ghosts up as they move towards the tier one top. Mid lane Rezo and Jerax tried to go for the Night Stalker too. Jerax was just off the mark with the Boulder Smash though. They're going to be able to threaten the tower though with this DD Phantom Lancer though while at top. The exorcism goes to work on that tower. Very nice moving coming out from Navi. So last forces S4 back, but S4 10 minute off lane blink dagger. He got no help. That was a solo brewmaster off lane. Yeah, he's done this a couple of times today. They the puck game as well, getting a very good blink dagger timing. And, uh, if anything, yeah, this one even more impre impressive doing it on a brew in this situation. Mid tower, they're trying to secure it. No tell rotates in. They'll be able to claim it. Oh, catapult to actually gets it, but they still get it. Crystallize, as you said, with that armlet. Not really the the best of heroes to sort of traverse him around and look for the ganks on uh, Navi's lineup. No one really with that blink initiation. And talking about blink initiation, S4 comes in on top of Crystallize. Crystal has queued up a Maelstrom afterwards too, to deal with those P in the PL. We've seen pretty much exclusively Life Stealers go for the Armlet Desolator build so they can take out towers. But I guess this time, since he has Death Prophet, he's prioritizing being, being that fighter. What we can do, hey Roger. That's Jarek silence. Damage for Crystallize. Jarex is gone. TP coming in from Fly. Let's see if he can set up for something in return. He does have to be a little careful himself. First four comes in with the blink. Has the Primal Split available. Quick Infest into the creep as they look to get out of there. Crystallize is going to be fine. Roger a little less so unless the TP is successful. Oh, it is. Roger. Next minute you see him. Next minute you don't. He's out of there. He survives. Roger's having so much impact across the map. He needs to when they're playing versus this type of lineup versus a lone druid PL. They can't really slow down the pace. Dendi now beating on the mid tower. This creep is still running around. Crystallize is still infested inside of it. Moving toward the mid lane. No token getting a serious amount of damage onto that tier one top. And as you say, mid lane. That's where the focus here comes. That creep, as you mentioned, it's got Crystallize in. And he goes, jumps the out, he's got the two-man silence from Dendi to set up for Fly. Fly down, Jarek's trying to roll away, but Roger, there with the body block. They'll get themselves a second. RV, keeping up the aggression. Level 6 is on both of the supports already on, on the side of Navi, while you look at on the side of OG. Level 5 on Fly, and only level 4 on Jarek's, and they've already used the Tome. Two gold lead here for Na'Vi, nine for three. Dendi and the Death Prophet. So Midas is well coming out toward General on that Doom. So they're trying to just keep that economy game, game going, at least on the Doom, while oh, pressuring with the other two heroes. And he is absolutely making the recovery. We saw how hard of a time he's having in lane. He's now, bam, only a few hundred gold behind, uh, behind S4's Bruin. S4 had a great lane. Yeah. So General playing it very nicely on the, the sort of combat. They're going into the Roche pit. This is with oh. Zaneko having the 2-0-3 build, having none in Splinter Blast. I don't think OG know this is going on. They've, they've got no intention of heading over by the looks of it. And even if they did... It's only a level 1 exorcism though, so it's not being brought down in that very quick pace that we do see. But it does seem like they might be able to get it here. OG though, maybe they do know it's coming. They're smoked up. They don't oh. have ulties on the supports though. They have the Primal Split. Jax, he's looking for some sort of a setup for his to boulder smash and he's gonna get the stun onto Dendi. Dendi for Dendi. the He's got the Yule Scepter. Buys time to keep himself alive. The Exorcism heal coming in as long with the Recorded Embrace. Dendi back up to full health. The Primal Spirit from S4. They're trying to contest his Roche. Roshan's still alive for now. Can they actually get it? Resolution. He's been doomed though. Crystallize comes through. The Raider get the kill, but Rezo snatches the Aegis. And that is huge. He was doomed up, but he's going to be back for round two. Is it enough to turn the ties though against Na'Vi? Because Dendi moving in with a Siphon has to slow onto S4. S4 gets crushed by Roger. Double kill for the Night Stalker. Dendi's got the Yule set up. He looks towards Rezo. Rezo, one more jump up to the high ground, but Roger's there, ready and waiting. Has the silence, has the void. He needs more, though, to hold back this TP, and it's not going to be there. Rezo will get out. But overall, Na'Vi, they get the big kills. They Those... do get Roshan. Sure, Rezo is able to snatch the Aegis. 
but it's still a good fight for Na'Vi. Those ghosts came in at the perfect time. The that heal. dual scepter, he gets healed up all the way to full. The cold embrace from Suneko. Such nice teamwork coming Let's out for Na'Vi here. If the level sixes were on OG on the supports, this fight would have been a disaster for Na'Vi. But the fact that they're so underleveled here, the curse comes out, holds back the supports, and then it's just S4 trying to take out Dendi there. And we see in the back, the courier was sniped as well from Roger. But Rezo gets doomed up, still able to claim the Aegis though and survive throughout all that. And that's the pretty impressive thing for OG. But still, Na'Vi looking really solid in this early game. OG needs, needs more time. They need this Lone Druid to have time to get that Radiance online. Level 6, level now attained onto Fly, but Jarak still level 5 now at the 16 minute mark on his signature Earth Spirit. Look at this lead the Na'Vi are getting. They are playing this phenomenally. And now, oh, Jarak, he's rolled into this one. And he has got back up. S4's there as well with the jump in. They'll look towards General. The crippling fear on S4 making him miss a lot of these hits. Doesn't matter though. They've got the magical to take down General. See if they can catch Roger as well. Roger already on the retreat down. Bottom Na'Vi. They catch No Tail. The bigger kill. Sure OG. They get the grab back onto Roger. He'll try for the TP out. He will not make it. So OG. They do get two, but they're losing No Tail. So Na'Vi. They are fine with this trade. As long as they can keep tabs on No Tail. Keep the bear behind. Na'Vi are happy with the flow of the game. Yeah, I think he bought, he had bought his relic before he died though, so doesn't lose a crazy amount of gold, but still big event, big up situation there for Na'Vi because they can turn this into a tower push with the level two exorcism. This is some insane push, of course. And then the, and the team general ready to join in as well. Crystallize is queued up a Deso next. So he looks like he also wanted to be able to just push out lanes with this Maelstrom since it's only really Dendi to be that lane pusher on their team. Oh, no G, they're going to come across and try and put a stop to this push, maybe. Jarek's on the sidelines, He's looking for some five. sort of a jump, and it's so hard, though, to take this fight. Especially when the Ghost Shot, they have to go, but General walks, and he gets the Doom straight off onto Jarek, chasing down the Earth Spirit. Jarek doesn't get to do a single the thing. The Curse is there, onto Fly. Fly being down by his own teammates. As OG, they have to back up. Savage Raw's there, trying to hold back Na'Vi. General gets the slow onto the bear. The Siphon's there as well. As they're doing their best to chase it down. They won't get the bear, but they will get the space to do more damage to this tier two. And they should be able to finish it. And indeed, they do. Na'Vi claim another tower. Roger, now with Solar Crest complete as well. Na'Vi's teamwork is off the charts now. Yeah, they're they are stepping it up. They're, they're warding, the way they collapse with their vision, and just their spell uses in the fights has been phenomenal. And OG just really suffering. We talked a lot about how Disruptor, when you're playing this hero and you're a, a deficit and you're getting ran at, it's very hard because ideally you want to be able to get those glimpse plays off, but you can't when you're just being ran at like this. Jerax, level 5 still, he's still unable to find that Magnetize. He's got to be careful how far he comes down this mid lane. Roger will go in on him if he's not. Not too careful, as you say, Notel desperately needs that Radiance. He's got to have it complete soon. If he wishes to keep up with the farm speed that both Crystallize and Dendi are producing. Dendi on the Death Prophet making just fantastic key rotations. Getting these objectives. And uh, actually going for the BKB soon, and he's pretty much got the BKB done. And Bonham Notel trying to finish off this task. Quick Savage Roar will get in the space to do so, and that will be the Radiance complete for the bear. They can start to play a little bit around him, but they're still on a massive road to recovery. They have a lot more time before they can really take these engagements versus Navi. Manta style almost going to be finished up for Rezo. Still very hard for them to take these fights into Exorcism. I don't, I don't really see them taking fights into Exorcism. You have the silence here, Jarex. It's not to Crystallize. Crystallize still with a chance to rage afterwards, though. Turn straight towards Jarex. He's trying for the TP out. Won't make it. Void's there from Roger. Oh, surely? Oh, is he gonna live, Jarex? Okay, they just sort of leaving because Crystallize has to get out of there. And now Crystallize, he's in trouble. There'll be a cold embrace, but the static storm's down, surrounding Crystallize. Winter's curse comes through, but Crystallize, he's already gone. The Brulings get him, and now the rest of Na'Vi just having to back away. Dyer's top tower is under Roger. Attack. Should be fine now as S4 will blink out. No tell as well back in alpha as soon as he sees Dendi come through. And he will use up the bear, but the kinetic field makes sure that the bear gets out of there. That's, that, a, that's significant kill. That was quite a... I, what? Jarek survived somehow. I can't believe they didn't hit him. It, he was in... Uh, so Lifestealer was infested and he wanted he didn't to wait want to for... Jump out? He wanted to wait for his rage to okay. come back up because he was afraid. But Fair he enough. ends up paying with his life anyway. Jarex lives. I mean, that... Yeah, that looked like Jarex was a sure. Yeah. Sure dead and But he gets out of there. Na'Vi let him be. 
Still 7k gold advantage for Navi. It's pretty ridiculous how farmed Roger is too with that solar crest now finished up going for Halberd for the bear. Dendi too. Arcane Rune, BKB Yules. Exorcism at the ready. So Navi, they should look to take a fight here. While they know the panda split is down, this is their window to make aggressive plays come out. Also nighttime for the next three and a half minutes. Let's see what the how's Rezo doing after that. He's got the man to finish. Oh, crap. Me, he needs a lot me. more. Yeah, he needs all the defensive items with the amount of single target that Navi have with their ultimate. That's what we're seeing, Roger. Eyes on to fly. Flies back into safety with the kinetic field down. Navi's not even having to use their exorcism for this tier two. There's no glyph available. They might actually just try to threaten the high ground with the exorcism arcane rune here. I mean, yeah, definitely with the arcane. As OG is not ready to fight, there's still no split for another oh, 20 boy. seconds. He's coming back. He's got the Vlads complete. Dendi yet to pop the exorcism, but you know he's thinking about it. And here we go. The ghosts are out. Navi ready to try and take a tier three and more on this mid lane. Can OG stop it? Quick step over the bear's dead. The solar crest just makes the bear die so quickly with that exorcism. They've got the primal split back up. And there's the jump. S4 immediately looking for Denny. Denny already falling. In fact, Denny is going to be kept alive by the cold embrace. Static stones down, making sure that the Doom can't get his ultimate off. Then with the BKB and the self heals from Denny, buying time to get himself out of there, and he'll be fine for now. Winter's curse only onto an illusion. As Suneko desperately tries to hold back OG as they look to chase down Navi's members. S4 has the micro, has the control, burst down the Wyvern, jump out from Crystallize, silence for the crippling fear of Roger, will be enough to take down S4. Now OG, they're running back to base. Roger flies up to the high ground, he looks towards Fly, but Reza jumps forward with the Spirit Lance, turns towards Roger, Roger gets the kill, he's trying to get himself out of there. Is it enough for the Solar Crest evasion? He may just make it, no! The Spirit Lance comes in, Reza will be able to claim the life of Roger. So Navi poking maybe a little too much there as OG will get a couple of kills. Sure, it does cost them a couple of lives themselves. But they do hold the base, they do keep that tier 3 alive, and they do make sure that the exorcism push is unsuccessful. The first game in 188 games of Jarax that he failed to hit level 7 before 20 minutes. Yeah, he's really been having a tough time here versus Navi this time, this go around. He's got to keep his call in the game where... It matters the most arguably yeah. one of the biggest games that OG has been in a in a long time so much rest on this game for OG they need more time they can't be they, they still are really struggling to fight versus Navi at this moment top Rezo and Notel ready to chase down Dendi they know that his BKB is still unavailable for a little bit general gets the doom down indeed general gets the doom on the right target Resolution, he's trying to run quick silence from Jarrett. He's going to miss the boulder smash though so Dendi he can still continue to close this gap resolution he can't get out of this Dendi gets the kill. Rezo is down. Jarex having to retreat. General, in the midst of all those illusions, finds the right target yeah. instantly with Beautiful the Beautiful play for General. And if Jarex had hit that smash, Rezo may have survived. Jarex now in trouble himself. Quick glimpse from Fly to peel the Night, Stor Night Stalker off him. That was the fresh pickup of General's Blink Dagger, too. Blink into sent uh, the War Stomp. Now War Stomp is a lot faster because of the animation changes that have happened in the recent patch. Here we go, another tower for Na'Vi. 10k gold lead, 23 minutes in. They are playing the pressure and the speed that they needed to with the draft that they had. Yeah. Now with the blink on Doom as well, they have that infest bomb. Yeah. Or the life stealer. And Roger getting closer and closer to that halberd. He is extremely tanky. Suneko might pay with his life up here. The first comes out, the TP. Oh, Suneko. And he's gone. He's off, he's out. Desto now complete for, for life stealer. Uh, a bit of a what's it, no tell as well with his build. Actually, picks up the blade mail at this stage for the bear. Just want some armor, some way to yep. reflect some of the damage because they're focusing so much. Very good versus Death Prophet as well. The exorcism. But OG, as we said, if they can keep this game going, they are going to be in sort of greener pastures. But at the moment, it's. It's just looking like Na'Vi are not letting that happen. But the speed and the pressure that they're put on still short, sure, Na'Vi are still yet to break the base. Yep. But they've come very, very close to it each and every time. And Dendi's still absolutely massive on this Death Prophet. Top of the net worth. Yeah, Dendi's huge. General went for the Midas, so that he's getting he's getting pretty massive. Roger as well. He has 7,600 net worth. When you look at the supports on OG, they have nowhere near that. 
So here's to Nico. They get a grab on him. Oh, and S4 jumps in on the back. He's got the phone to clap onto two. Immediately stun onto Dendi. Will disable the Night Stalker, giving the space for OG to find the kill onto Seneco. They'll chase down Dendi. Another stun. Dendi's getting low. He's had to pop the BKB. Goes for the TP out. Will make it. But Roger's not going to be as fortunate. Four heroes of OG surround the Night Stalker, claiming Roger's life as well for sure. He's not going to get away. Two down. OG getting the kills. And S4, again, he's been making these plays time and time again. These blink initiations there, forcing both Seneco and Dendi to scatter and just tearing them away from any sort of chance of pulling together a team fight themselves and turning back on OG. S4 is really putting the team on his back here mostly, but Jarex with a clean initiation. The stun actually catches Dendi here on the left side too, you see. And then and S4. S4 able to get that follow-up. Look at this disable, just awesome. holding both of them in place. And no choice but to run. And eventually, as we see, Dendi having to pop the BKB as well. Does save his life, but that is a BKB charge down. And kills for OG. Roche is ready. Dendi just shy of the level 18. Oh, it's a DD Rin as well outside of it. And they want to go. Diffusal Blade picked up for resolution. Can OG get to this pit in time? It's going to be quite some speed that him out. I don't know if they can contest with that yeah. with split. It's really tough. And it, that the speed it dies to with Solar Crest Exorcism. Yeah. It just, it's just... Desto, double damage. Roshan's gone. No chance for OG in that respect. Aegis Cheese. Exorcism is expended, though. So maybe right when they have split up, OG can try to look for some pickoffs here away from that Aegis and Cheese. So, though, super difficult for them. Navi looking at... So crisp in this game. Daytime for another minute and a half. Navi. Probably when they've got exorcism in nighttime. That'll be the next time they try to go for any type of pressure. Maybe go for a smoke play after that. General as well with his itemization. Closing in on the Shiva's guard. We can have that extra sort of chase and very good against the PL. Yeah, it really helps you find the uh, actual PL, and it's just good versus both the Lone Druid and Phantom Lancer, because it's that uh, minus attack speed will really help them. And talking about the Lone the Druid, I don't know if we'll follow through, but I like the itemization with Noto. He's got the Agonims queued up. I think he knows that if he can split push, you know, Na'Vi, they, are, they need to go for the five-man push. It's very hard for them to deal with any sort of split push pressure, so an Agonims Lone Druid bear, that could do wonders this game. Oh, gee. They've got a war on the high ground here. Jump forward. Look at the Suneco. No chance to react. Instant silence for Jarek. Suneco's down. Now, oh, gee. Crystallize. He's trying to fight this. He has got the Aegis. He's going to come into the middle of it all. There's going to be a buyback from Suneco. Na'Vi do want to try and turn this fight. They get the silence onto the brew. S4 does have the primal split if he gets the chance to do so. Great smash from Jarek. Holds back Na'Vi. They've got the Yule set up onto S4. S4, can he get the old anti time? No, he can't. Gets shredded by Crystallize. The tomb. And they've managed to get the target again. General, each and every time, finding the real Rezo, bringing him down. They've got the control on the bear. They're going to look to beat down on the Lone Druid's bear as well. And with the chase, they may just get this one as well. Three kills for Na'Vi. As Suneko comes in with the buyback, and what a time to do so. Knows that Na'Vi have to, and they absolutely can take these fights at these stages, a full 5v5. And they've done it here. They get the three kills. No Tail still alive. Picks up the point booster. He is indeed committing for the Ags. He knows he's got to push out as many lanes as he can as possible Radiant's to alleviate the pressure that Na'Vi are applying as a group, as a unit. Exorcism level 18 at the ready here. Oh, gee, they've got split up. Boy, they have indeed. Still 15 seconds, no Rezo. No Tail is keeping the split pressure on us at the moment on the top lane. She finds Seneco too. The blade mail from the bear, bear actually finishing him off. Don't think Seneco expected that blade mail. And that actually forces Navi to get back. They're a bit threatened by all this, by the respawns from OG. Is there any glimpse catches? Fly nowhere near in range. Get anybody here. Rezo jumps down. He tries to. Crystallizes already out with the TP. But that is half health for the tower. We know Lone Druids, they have this riding potential. Honestly, like, if, if Notel continues to play as he is, this sort of split could be the end of Na'Vi in this game. Even though OG are so far behind, it is the classic way to come back when you can't take a team fight. Just go for the rat place. Yep. Dendi almost has Octarine finished up. I mean, really huge pick up for him. Roger as well is going for one. And then S4 having the BKB will probably be one of the bigger item picks up, pickups for OG in the next several minutes. Rezo really struggling in this game as the Phantom Lancer. Four and four. Catching decently up in the last hits, but he just keeps getting found out here by General. 
the charge. Perez, oh, they're going to find Fly. Fly down for 30. Perez, should be fine. Navi's just, Navi's actually just relentless in this game. Yeah, coin. Yeah. So, so I'm not there for 50 seconds. They're looking for some kind of pickoff into this push. They know that the glyph isn't ready. They want to take advantage of that during this two minutes more of night time. The side is getting shoved in pretty heavily. No tail. Down the bottom, S4 up the top. The scan actually find somebody down here. Oh, Rezo. He may not be prepared for this one. He's going to pop the doppelganger. Roger, can he find the target? Oh, he actually may be in trouble himself. Rezo turns with the defusal blade. Roger falling low, but there's the jump in. They clear out the illusions. They found Rezo. Rezo is gone. Navi. That scan. They were. They saw the illusions in the bottom side pushing out, but that scan catches exactly on top of him. Now it's 40 seconds. Rezo. Navi's trying to force a buyback. Five seconds till that exorcism. Hotel does force out the fortification. The bear down bottom. Pushing in. Here we go with the ghost out. They should get these melee racks. No trouble at all in the mid lane. Dendi. Can they make any sort of jump on him whilst the ghosts are up? It would be hard to do so, and indeed they have to respect the power. They have to let it go. That's going to be the melee racks down. They'll beat down the bear as well. It's falling low. It's going to be 300 easy gold for Dendi and the lads. As now they go up to top lane. Navi looking for more than just one racks. Trying to bully OG into submission here. As OG stands with their backs against the wall. All hopes and dreams on this game for them. They need the win to make it to a major. And Na'Vi doing a fantastic job and making sure that that's not going to happen there at a 15k gold lead. There are racks up. It's looking extremely grim for OG. Na'Vi already has the itemization that even if the game goes to later and later stages, I don't even think OG can take it because of this Mjolnir on Lifestealer and just how massive they really are. Dendi's going to have Octarine finished now too. And they've got the tools to deal with that split push too. You see General building that Shadow Blade now on top as well. He's going to be able to find whenever that bear is going for the split push. OG. And Octarine as well on Dendi. I mean, you said at the start, you sort of looked at, you know, you know that the times we've seen Dendi play this hero, he's he's played it masterfully, and this game is, is no exception. An immaculate Death Prophet performance. 7-1-7. Seven, and seven. Yeah, He's part of 14 kills. Roger as well, 7-5-10. and 10. He's got a couple deaths to his name, but the pressure that he's been applying with this Night Stalker has been spectacular. The movement from Navi has been just all around excellent. now as a group back towards the mid lane. They have their ult. How long till Exorcism's back up? 30 seconds. A little bit of time that OG can try and abuse. Middle tower. tower will be denied. Dendi. Ag Ag's finished on Night Stalker now too. But the vision game is going to go massively in favor of Navi. And you see Rezo fifth on the net worth as a Phantom Lancer. Definitely. They need him to have be much higher in yeah. these type of instances. The Gem now picked game up. for Rezo this today. Yeah. He's not big enough to deal with the heroes of Navi by any means right now. Flying up Dendi. Look at the glimmers back. The kinetic field Dendi just at the BKP though. They're trying to poke, maybe hoping to get a charge out of him. Radiant's Quick blink from S4 as General comes in. Attack. The blink stomp. S4 is able to get out just in time. Roger. He's going to chase a little bit. Back up. S4 should be A okay. OG needs a lot more time in this game. They still need several more items on Rezo. To be able to take any of these kind of fights. Just closing in on the Lincolns. Just that. That'll help Ultimate versus the Doom. I mean, yeah, you've got to give hats off to General. We've seen him multiple times dooming the PL, a task that is not easy. Yeah. And with the Shivas, he can always pretty much find that real one. They've already got a lot of different ways to break that Lincoln Sphere, though, when it is out. They have got the Halberd, they've got all of Night Stalker spells as well. Getting no tail. Just trying to be as annoying as possible. Needs to cut the creep caves, needs to prolong this game for OG to have a chance. How's the items looking on No Tail after the axe? Has he got the. He hasn't really bought too much else. I think he had a Hyperstone on the bear. Nice four. 
on the prowl all the time with the shadow blade and crystallize infested crystallize almost with a full ac finished up on top of that mjolnir and he's starting to get those big talents up level 20 the 20 percent evasion can be very nice versus a phantom lancer as a life stealer yep. very hard to get that focus down navi's three cores are just on another level compared yep. to what og have at this stage of the game there's there's no doubt about that at all crystallize dendy general playing like absolute beasts Oscar Manis indeed for, for, for no tail get on the bear. If he gets that bear on the towers, do it quite a bit. A bit with this hyperstone and Oscar Manis. That is if Navi give it the chance to get that far out. And general he's on the hunt with Crystallize. Nice bear. They, yeah, that's that's literally what they're going for here with the Shadow Blade. Roshan was just scouted by Roger too, and that's the third Rosh. Refresher shard will be available if Navi wants to go for it. It's starting to get pinged out. That's where they want to take the fight. I I don't know how OG can take this fight versus them either into that exorcism, into such a heavily farmed lifestealer. They're just at way too much of a deficit. Secondary bear is scouted. They almost actually got the second bear. This is easy rush for Navi. They, they cannot come out and contest this OG. And with the AC, the crystallized complete. And as you said, well, this is going to be with the refresher shot. Yep. And that's, is it going to go the way of Dendi? It sure is. Double exorcism. How on earth to OG hold the base oh, to yeah, that sort of push? He gives it to General. Okay. Double Doom. Looking to be more important. I mean, that, that as well. Yeah, take if out he... two heroes from the fight. Cool. I mean, OG can't even win a 5v5. How the hell will they win a 3v5 if he gets two Dooms on anybody? Or on two targets? feeling the pressure. No tell trying his best to split push these waves with the bear, but he's terrified. He knows they're hunting for it. Yeah. Each and every time Navi are on the hunt for the bear. He can't lose this bear just yet either. 30 seconds till the next three summon though. They're hunting for it. Look at Roger walking along the tree lines. He knows it's somewhere around here. Oh, he sees it. They want that bear. The ping's coming out. General closing the gap. Yeah. They found the bear. And that bear I ain't going home tonight. Easy goal for Crystallize, the bear down. As you say, he does have the resummon up but sooner. But again, the fact that he has to resummon and then there's that extra period once again where Notel has to play so careful. He can not afford to lose this bear, especially if it happens at the same time Navi are pushing him. Do you as... see what's in Dendi's bottle as well? Oh, He's got the arcane rune. Arcane, oh my goodness. Navi, they are on the verge of doing this. There's no doubt about that. I do not know how OG swing this one around. It's they're so far behind. 21k gold lead for Navi. It's just getting to more and more of a deficit. They're just engaging in. Dendi, no hesitation. How do they stop this man? Roger jumps in. Looking for S4. PKP comes out from S4. We'll be able to get himself away from General and Crystallize. They turn towards the structures. Fortification comes out. S4 comes in. Does manage to get the Primal Split off. He looks towards General. Has he got the control to deal with him, though? Doppelganger popped from Rezo as he tries to force General back out with the Illusions. Quick sweep to the back of the fight from S4 to check out the back lines. Static Storm's not going to actually catch anyone. He looks towards Dendi, but Dendi pops the BKB. He's taken the Tier 3. He's now looking towards the range racks. No tell. He's trying for the wrap. He's moving in with the bear. He will get the Tier 3 tower. He is onto the racks as well. Suneko with the Winter's Curse holds back the bear. And they will be able to bring the bear down. Can he get the racks in time? He cannot. The bear is gone. Back down towards the bottom as well. Jarax has fallen. Crystallize is surrounded though. OG, they will claim the lifestealer once. Can they do it a second time? No, that is the question. The field is down. They look for the instant lockdown. They've got the Savage Roar. Smashing into Crystallize. He's out of mana. Gets the Rage up in time. Turns towards S4. S4's down. Double kill for Crystallize. Jump back in from General. He's trying to save Crystallize, but he may not be able to do so. No, the silence. Rezo pops the Mantis style, trying to retreat. They won't kill Crystallize a second time. They just have to get out of there themselves. And Cheese is out, Crystallize being given the Cheddar by Gen Dendi's back up to full life. They're back in with another Exorcism. Na'Vi claiming these bottom racks. There's 40 seconds without the bear. No Primal Split available for S4s. He is in the sidelines. It looks like GG. And General's jumping in. 
He's trying his best to poke at them. No tails come back for the defense. They get the glimpse back onto General, but General looks for the doom. We'll get it down to Jerex. Jerex getting himself back to the fountain, but the Ancients exposed. Na'Vi are moving in with the Ghost. OG, there's no way they can stop this. It's going to be GG. It's going to be game over. OG's road to the Major comes to an end as Na'Vi... They come in with an incredible crushing force. What a victory for Na'Vi. What a performance.